Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Happy Monday. Welcome to another week in my life vlog. We're starting, just getting right into it right into it it is monday morning it's about 10 30 a.m saturday night we got back from our arizona trip but i did vlog the arizona trip and i posted a bunch of fun photos from our trip over on my instagram but we got back from that on saturday night and then we spent yesterday just like unpacking doing laundry cleaning recovering sylvester was like insanely constipated i think just from like stress of us being gone and so we were like helping him with a little bit but he had like a huge bowel movement so i think we're back to normal on that front but anyway now it's monday morning i woke up this morning showered did my hair shaved i have a laser hair appointment today so i had to shave you're supposed to shave like within the day before got ready and then i went and did a little grocery pickup that we placed last night hating all these plastic bags but you know not much you can do when it's grocery pickup we were just way too busy to like actually go to the store and shop ourselves so kroger grocery haul we don't stock many paper towels. We love these from Zero Wastely. These are what we use like when we eat and day to day. But when the cats like to poop and piss on the floor, sometimes, like whenever they get sick, I swear it's like they shit right next to the litter box. So we specifically get paper towels for cat poop and piss. <laughs> Gotta love it. A can of corn for the chicken salads we'll be making. Cilantro, a cucumber, bell pepper. Oh, two bell peppers. We got red and green. Some red onions. Not one, not two, but three bags of the Hershey's Chocolate Twizzlers. These are like my ultimate craving snack, like when I am hungry and I just want something. These have been like my go-to, and so I always just have like several packages on hand. I have a problem. Good old fashioned white bread. Lately, my comfort food, I don't know if it's like the potential ADHD that I'm in the process of getting diagnosed with, but I go through phases where I like hyper fixate on foods. Lately, it's like chocolate Twizzlers as a snack and grilled cheese sandwiches are like my go-to everyday lunch. Like I could eat two grilled cheese sandwiches and I think I've like mastered the grilled cheese technique, but I got some white bread and some ham so I can do like a ham and cheese for a little bit more substance. And unfortunately, grilled cheese just works best on Grandma Sycamore's white bread. What can I say? I got some sour cream and onion chips for my sandwiches. Josh got filet and hot Doritos. And of course, just some classic tortilla chips because we like to put these. We're making like kick and chicken salads at some time this week. So these are for the salads as well. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Some Crunch Hostess mini donuts because I am a child. And again, these are delicious. And for my sweet tooth, a little pint of the best Rocky Road ice cream on the market. It's haagen -Dazs. They have like the whipped cream, like marshmallow fluff kind of like throughout it instead of just like three little bitch ass baby marshmallows thrown in. This has like such good marshmallow cream in there. If you're a fan of Rocky Road and you've never tried haagen -Dazs, get you a pint. Some baby spring mix for our salads. There's the ham for the sandwiches. Some Oikos protein yogurt. You guys know this is like go-to breakfast yogurt. It's so good. The mixed berry is the best flavor that I have found so far. I love the mixed berry. Some jalapenos. Grocery pickup is so weird because why in this bag did they individually wrap every single bit of produce? But then in this bag, they just throw it in, which is, this is what we do. Like I, we do not need to be putting every little goddamn fruit and veggie in a plastic bag, guys. This, ain't nothing wrong with this. All right, we got Roma tomatoes, lemons, limes, and bananas. And I think that is, that is everything for our little grocery haul of the week. Everything else that we have for our meals, we already have in stock. We're doing sandwiches for lunch, a Mediterranean salad for lunch one of the days, chicken fajitas, salmon burgers with fries, and then kick and chicken salads. So that's my little meal plan, grocery trip, look alike into like what we eat for the week. We usually like to plan out like three or four dinners and two lunch options that we'll just like m kind of make extra of. And then we usually go out to eat like once or twice a week, but that is the grocery haul. I'm gonna go put all this shit away. I do have a little bit of an Amazon package, so I thought it might be fun to do an unboxing. I've been in a little bit of a funk lately where my hair feels like it's growing so exponentially fast. I love having the dark hair, but 
I it's, a, it's like the point now where I feel like I have to diet every other week to avoid having like major rootage I think I'm gonna lighten up and go a little bit more towards my natural color so that when my hair grows in it's not as big of a deal and I don't feel like I need to touch up my hair every other week so I ordered like a box dye kind of color remover and a hair mask it is the Salem color reverse two-part little set so it's supposed to help strip out semi-permanent or permanent dyes from your hair obviously it's not going to strip it out completely it is going to cause a little bit of damage and you probably won't get your results like the first time you do it i've heard people say you know they've been dyeing their hair with box dye for like 10 years and it took them like three or four rounds split out over like the course of a year but this kit was like $20 on Amazon. It had so many good reviews. And then to kind of combat with the damage, I did pick up the Amika Soul Food Moisture Hair Mask. Again, it was on Amazon Prime, so I just primed these. And I don't know if I'm gonna do this this week and like try and strip the color or if I'm just gonna rock the dark hair for like another week. I'm not sure yet. If you see me pop up in the next few videos with lighter hair, that is why. I am going a little bit more towards my natural color just to make maintaining it easier. But anyway, okay. That is my little grocery pickup unboxing. I'm gonna go do my makeup, get ready, and then I think we're gonna go to the bookstore. I think I'm gonna film like a come bookshop with me vlog for my ASMR channel. So I think we're gonna do some book shopping today. Okay, I am done. Makeup is on. I started the dishes. I just loaded the dishwasher, so sorry if you can hear that. But I'm ready to go to the bookstore. So here's my little OOTD. We just got a cute little baby tee. I think this is from H&M. I don't know. Shorts from Hollister. All of my jewelry is Ana Luisa. As always, you already know. Got my little TikTok shop bag and my Sambas. And I am ready to go to the bookstore and get some books. All right. Okay, we are here. We made it to Barnes and Noble, so I am gonna go in, do some damage, and we'll see what we find. All right, secured. We are done at Barnes and Noble. I ended up getting four books. So, quick little mini haul if you didn't watch the ASMR video. Truly, Madly, Deeply, so excited to read this. It is about two people who do like a podcast series together. You cannot tell me that that is not Joe Keery and as a Steve Harrington girl, I just knew I wanted to pick this up. Then I found this little small town romance. It's the first book in a small town romance interconnected series. Not heard anyone talk about this. It was the only copy they had, but it's called The Devil in Blue Jeans by Stacey Kennedy. And it's about this girl who moves to this small town in Montana to start a bar. And then I picked up two books that are just like the next ones in the series that I needed. So the last book in the Addicted Calloway Sister series, this is the big like epilogue novel, Some Kind of Perfect. And then lastly, we have Savage Lover by Sophie Lark. This is the third book in the Brutal Birthright series and it's the next book that I need to read. Those are the books that I picked up and now I'm gonna go home and finish filming the rest of the video and editing it and getting it up for the day and then just finish my work, answer some emails, all that boring shit. And then I think tonight after work, Josh and I are gonna go to the movie theaters and see Challengers because everyone's loving it. I've heard amazing things. My brother has been like begging me to see it. So gonna go see Challengers tonight probably and I'm very excited, but for now, let's go home. All right, we are home. I stopped by Dutch Bros on my way home and I got one of the Mango Nada Rebels that they have in the summer. So good. I came home to a little letter from Bloom, Source Books, one of my favorite romance book publishers and I have no idea what this is, so I thought I would open it on camera. Oh, it is my wild love art print. I forgot that this was supposed to come with my pre-order, but I guess it, it wasn't ready in time, and so they said they would ship it separately. This is everything to me. Oh my God, Ford is so hot. <laughs> oh my God, if you have not read Wild Love by Elsie Silver, 
get on it five star and if you thought we were done with packages i also have a sephora package shout out to the person who dm'd me on instagram or maybe it was on it was either on instagram or patreon one of you dm'd me saying that way finally came out with a saint bart's body mist this is the scent of their lotion that i love and i've been waiting for them to make like a perfume i would have preferred a perfume but they came out with a hair and body mist so oh it smells so fucking good it's such a yummy cozy summer scent it has like a coconut mmm bitch yes obsessed shout out to the subscriber and then while i was on the app i also noticed that glossier came out with a new sunscreen the sunscreen with like the yellow lid that comes in the pump is my favorite sunscreen of all time this is the invisible shield priming sunscreen so unlike the original invisible shield with the yellow lid that one is my favorite sunscreen i've ever used it is i bought it like five times over now me and my boyfriend use it every day on our face so when i saw that they came out with another one i knew i wanted to try it i think this one is just supposed to be more like pore filling less dewy and hydrating but the same vibe just like invisible clear goes on the skin minimal fragrance and so excited about that glossier sunscreens are the best and then i also used like 100 of my sephora points to get this little mini summer fridays cloud dew gel cream moisturizer sample which looks really cute and tiny and I just I love their lip balms but I've never tried any of their other like skincare products I think I tried like their jet lag mask once I got it in like a boxy charm I think but other than that I've never really stepped out and tried their skincare so those are the three things that I got from Sephora just a little mini haul okay still importing some of the clips from today for some reason the clips that I film on this camera they take forever to import from the SD cards, but it is 2.37 and my laser appointment is at 3 p.m. So we are going to go. I'm going by myself this time, which does make me a little bit nervous. The first time I went, I went with my sibling Geo. Like Geo came as like emotional support. And honestly, I loved my first laser hair removal experience. It was quick, it was easy. It was like maybe a four out of 10 on the pain scale. It really wasn't that bad. But I think a lot of that was because I had Geo to like talk to the entire time to like distract me. And so I can't lie, like I'm a little bit anxious just because I'm by myself. And it really just depends on like the vibe of the person there that's doing the treatment. But either way, it is a really quick session. It only gonna it's only gonna take like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna head out in about five minutes and go get laser on my coochie. And I'll let you know how it goes. All right, walk into the appointment. Here we are. That's the machine that they use. They give you like a little robe to change into. So I'm gonna do that real quick. There's like a TV. It's your skin, babe. Word. This is my Met Gala outfit. My appointment took just over 10 minutes and I'm done. And it was lovely. The lady that helped me was so nice. They give you like aloe and stuff to Put on so i'm gonna wipe myself down get dressed and then we'll go to the car head home seriously if you've been thinking about laser hair removal like this is not an ad laser way if you want to sponsor me i like already paid for the package my, with my own money but genuinely recommend it is such an easy process and it has already made such a difference in my hair growth laser is done after my appointment i went into the front office to schedule my next appointment my appointments are like six weeks apart and the worker informed me that it was like with the mother's day sale going on and like a bonus other thing that they were doing that they could add my legs and it only brings up like the amount that i'm paying every month like twenty dollars so I was like, fuck it, let's do it. So I have now added legs to the roster. So I think my next appointment in six weeks will be like an hour long because obviously it's going to take longer for them to do my legs. But I am really about to have a hot hairless girl summer. Now I'll have my armpits and my happy trail down to my toes done, which is nice. I think the only thing that that leaves really is like my unibrow if one day I decide to have that done. But anyway shout out to the laser away girly for convincing me to spend more money but it will be so worth it in the long run so okay gonna head home now I'm gonna try and think about the fact that i didn't just like in theory spend a lot of money 
but I'm paying it off and uh, you know we're paying it off month by month it's fine it's fine it's only $20 more a month it's fine <laughs> I know when it's the end of the work day because these little guys wake up and they are desperate for attention so I am just putting the finishing touches on today's video and then I'm going to export it and upload it. This is my executive assistant. He's overseeing all my business. I mean, he literally is my emotional support animal legally. So you are a hard worker. You nini, you lover, you lover. I'm not done working. I got to work for a few, like another hour. <laughs> it is the next morning. It is 7.30 in the morning and I just woke up, as you can tell by the absolute state of me. Josh is actually working from home today because we need to switch our mattress. I'm doing a brand deal with Helix for my ASMR channel. And so they sent me a new mattress. It's been like in the hallway for about a week and a half so we need to switch it over today and film that so he's working from home today but he just left to go on like a little morning bike ride i am far too lazy this morning plus after um after laser you're not supposed to work out sweat or do anything crazy for like 24 hours but i'm actually just gonna go eat some breakfast and do some reading on the balcony i'm currently reading caught up by miss liz tom ford i'm really enjoying it i am i'm on page 74 so we're making some progress, so I'm gonna go sit on the balcony, enjoy the morning air, do some reading. Oh, as for the challengers, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was hot, obviously. <laughs> Whoever played Art, like I'm normally not into blonde men, that's just not my type, but the actor that played Art, oof, oh, he was gorgeous. I mean, everyone in the, in the show is beautiful, all three of them. It was so fun with the music. I, I recommend seeing it. If you haven't seen Challengers yet and you like intense, dramatic stories i don't even know how to explain it like i don't even know it's basically about two men dueling in tennis for the same woman who is zendaya and it was just good it was fun it, it had me on the edge of my seat and yeah i liked it i think i gave it like a 4.5 on letterbox uh josh didn't like it as much i think he was like it's too long like i think he was like over it pretty quickly but also he was like i think i'm just not gay i'm not queer and i'm like that that's fair yeah, if you don't like men, if you're like not sexually attracted to men, this movie doesn't offer much. There's like a few Zendaya scenes where she's really mm, giving it, but it's mostly slutting out these two tennis players, and I appreciated it. I appreciated it very much. It was good, and I recommend seeing it. So anyway, I'm gonna go outside now. I'm done talking. I'm tired. Before I do my makeup and get ready to start filming and working today, I made some lunch. It's like 10, 30, 11, so I heated up some leftover fajitas from what Josh made yesterday, and I'm just gonna go eat outside with my Red Bull, and there's a new episode of the Cancelled Podcast, which is my favorite podcast, so just gonna watch this episode and eat my vagina. I love vaginas. Are you kidding me? I love vaginas. on the other side. Well, the new mattress is on. We put the sheets on. Back to work for me. Time to keep editing. Why is the autofocus, like 90% of the time I can't see. I have really bad eyesight. And so I can't see on this little viewfinder a lot of the time if it's focused on me and so a lot of times when I'm editing, my clips will just be like half out of focus and I'm just like, oh, Haley. So please just be patient with me. <laughs> I'm still getting the hang of the new Canon G7X. So the autofocus, it's a little tricky, but 
All right, it is 4.55 and I'm leaving my office done with work for the day. We are gonna head to the park and do a little lap, do a little outdoor walk because the weather's great outside and then I think we're gonna get some taco time. It's Taco Tuesday, so naturally we're gonna get some taco time. You look ready for the sun. Yeah. Is the UV index like high? No. Okay, Actually, nice. Because I didn't put on like any, I only have my sunscreen from this morning. Hi vlog, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, it's hump day. We are halfway through the week. It's been a busy one, but I'm only picking up the camera at 3.40 p.m. today. I just had lunch. I've just been so busy working. I had to film two ASMR videos this morning. I filmed a bookshelf tour, so I had to make sure that that was all like ready to go for my ASMR channel. I still need to film one for this channel. It's coming, don't worry. I just finally got like the organization done, so anyway. Filmed a bunch of shit this morning and then they had inspections like our apartment managers and stuff had to come in and do like change the filters, change the smoke battery alarms and stuff. So anyway, that's all done and I'm currently uploading today's ASMR video. It's a clothing haul. And then I think I'm just going to chill. Uh, today's supposed to be pretty chill evening because Josh is going to be working late tonight. So... Okay, today's video is up and I think I'm just gonna do a few more edits. I have to send over a sponsored post for a view tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna get started editing on that and then I'm also supposed to upload the Throne of Glass reading vlog tomorrow. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start editing both of those videos until like 5 p.m. Okay, it is 5.13 and I am clocking out of work for the day. I am done. But it's kind of cute. I was just having a little moment with myself because I uploaded my ASMR video today. It has been up for 23 minutes and it has 362 views. And I just like saw that randomly and had one of those moments where it's like, wow, like that is something that a little 10 year old me would like dream about having hundreds of people want to watch my video like in 20 minutes of it going up you know what i mean it like it, it's still i just want you guys to know that i really am thankful and it's still like i still feel like i need to pinch myself and i still have that childlike joy and wonder that this is my job and i get to do this and i just i'm really thankful and it's just one of those days where i'm just like oh this year i've been having the most consistent Lee high adsense checks like i haven't had my best adsense checks of all time necessarily but going for like four months straight they've been consistently the highest that they've been and it just is a blessing i just am i feel grateful and i like that if i put work and i put time and i put effort in my content like it you guys notice it and you guys love it and i just want to say thanks. I'm just, I'm sappy. I'm just in a sappy mood. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hey guys, happy Thursday. It is 9 a.m. and I'm crying. <laughs> it's nothing that serious. I lost my AirPods and find my iPhone says that they're like in the middle of a Target parking lot and I don't even remember having them. It's really not that serious, but I just feel like I don't know if it was from like ch like being a teenager or something, but I, I just, I get this like immense like guilt and anxiety when like I lose or misplace like important things and you know, so it's like obviously AirPods are not cheap. So I'm just like hoping that I left them in my sibling Geo's car yesterday. That's like the last time it says we were in the Target parking lot and that was yesterday morning with Geo. So... I asked you if they would check their car and hopefully they're in there, but if not, I'm gonna have to get new AirPods and for some reason I'm crying. <laughs> but just wanna be real and show you guys that not every day is glamorous as a YouTuber. <laughs> Sometimes things are hard. Okay, but deadass, like, just know that if you get emotional over little things, I do too. So don't beat yourself up about it too much, but ugh. It's okay because I have another pair of headphones I can use in the meantime, but Anyway, the tan is tanning. Like, my body, my legs look so tan. 
but my face I don't tan so it's just if there's a discrepancy it's because I don't have any makeup on or any skincare thankfully if I'm gonna get emotional and be looking like a mess today is a good day to do it because I don't have to film anything today I'm just editing I'm supposed to post the long-awaited throne of glass reading vlog so I need to edit that I have I think like two hours of footage worth that I need to edit down so that's gonna be the big task and then just more editing and emails and stuff but I'm not filming anything so besides this anyway I think I'm gonna go smoke a bowl to make myself feel a little bit better and then edit these videos and hopefully I'll come back and have an update on where my airpods are Okay, I'm editing the Throne of Glass reading vlog, and there's a section where I needed a fan cam of Dorian, just for scientific purposes, and I could not find a good one, so I made one myself, and tell me why it's the funniest shit I've ever made. like a lion with this mane right now it is 4 17 i am done with work for the day throne of glass vlog is finally up and edited it is about 50 minutes long but it's done and so i'm very happy with that and i got a sponsored post sent over for approval so that's good and now i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day i don't really have any plans so i think i'm gonna read hang out still no word on my airpods they are still missing in action all right i have finally got dressed for the day i did my skincare so my face matches my body now we love to see it it is what are you doing it is 5.57, Josh got back from work and we are gonna head out. Josh is like in desperate need of some summer clothes. So we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping in some stores. Hopefully you can find some stuff. And then we're gonna pick up some dinner while we're out. And I don't know what we're gonna get yet, but I'm excited nonetheless. We are at REI. And Josh is currently trying on some sun shirts. Hopefully, he finds one that he likes. The winner. Wow, nice. If it's I wanna, good. I want to go back and see what other colors they have. Okay, yeah. I, I like this, the other the REI brand color more. Green, a gray, blue, and like a I, rust. I did, I did like the Arcteryx one. We're back home, and he has <laughs> the sun shirt. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I was saying it looks like an uncircumcised wiener, but in a good way. But also great news, my headphones were in fact in Gio's car there, in Gio's house, so my AirPods are not lost, all is well. But we're home now, we got Zupas for dinner, I got a Chipotle chicken salad, I'm watching the role model, <laughs> okay girl. I'm watching the role model Zach Sang interview and the pesto chicken. Oh, so good, so good. This new Billie Eilish song, Birds of a Feather, is so damn good. Birds of a Feather, I've just had on repeat nonstop ever since it came out last night. Hi, everyone. It's actually Saturday. I didn't vlog yesterday. I was just busy working. But it is Saturday and it's the last day of today's vlog. I'm currently driving to my lash appointment. I've been lash extensionless for a few weeks now, just giving my lashes a break, doing some lash serum. It's been really nice, but I am missing the lashes and I'm ready. So I booked an appointment and I'm headed there. It starts in literally five minutes, but I'll show you what they look like after, of course, but that's probably going to be where I end the vlog, honestly. I don't have much going on this weekend. I'm going to have dinner with my grandma tonight. I can't lie, this song reminds me of Justin and Emma from Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. Obviously, it reminds me of me and my boyfriend as well. But, like, the whole I don't know what I'm crying for. Like, ah. Anyway, okay, I'm here at my lash appointment, and it starts in two minutes. So, I'm going to head in there. Here is the before. We're getting a wispy hybrid full set. That is what I ask for. A wispy hybrid full set. We are done lashes are on 
I feel good. I think they look really cute. I did a side part today because the other day I had greasy hair and I just like did a side part to help kind of like cover up some of the grease. And I filmed like two videos and then I got a bunch of comments on those videos being like, oh my God, you look so good with a side part. So now I'm like having a dilemma and I don't know if I want to do a side part, a middle part, whatever. Anyway lashes are done and i think that is where i'm actually going to end off today's vlog thank you guys so much for spending time with me this week it was just a pretty chill week at home as per usual but thank you for hanging out i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to stick around for more goodbye my gorgeous friends love ya